In the fetus, the primitive dorsal iota gives rise to three set of branches. Ventral splanctic branches, lateral splanctic branches and dorsolateral branches. The ventral splanctic branches supply the derivatives of the gut tube and give rise to celiac trunk, superior mesenteric artery, inferior mesenteric artery. Above the diaphragm, they also give rise to the bronchial and esophageal branches. The lateral splanctic branches supply the derivatives of intermediate mesoderm and give rise to renal arteries, suprarenal arteries, ovarian or testicular arteries. The intersegmental arteries supply the derivative of somites. Each intersegmental artery divides into a dorsal branch and a ventral branch. The dorsal branch supplies the muscle of the back and the overlying skin. It also gives rise to a spinal branch that supplies the neural tube. The ventral branches supply the muscles of the trunk and limbs and the overlying skin. The intersegmental arteries supply the derivatives of the somite. They are also called the dorsolateral or the somatic intersegmental arteries. They are nearly 30 in number, one for each somite. The intersegmental arteries in the cervical region form the vertebral artery. The seventh cervical intersegmental artery forms the axis artery of upper limb. The intersegmental artery in the thoracic region give rise to the posterior intercostal arteries. The intersegmental arteries in the lumbar region form the lumbar arteries and in the sacral region the lateral sacral arteries. The seventh cervical intersegmental artery forms the axis artery of the upper limb. The main arterial trunk grows outwards along the ventral axial line and ends in the palmar capillary plexus. The remnants of the axis artery in the adult persist as axillary artery, brachial artery, anterior interosseous artery. The remnants of palmar capillary plexus form the deep palmar arch. Whereas the radial artery, ulnar artery, median artery are the side branches from the axis artery. The fifth lumbar intersegmental artery forms the axis artery of lower limb. The arterial trunk accompanies the sciatic nerve and runs distally along the dorsal surface of the thigh, knee and leg and ends in the plantar capillary plexus. In adult, the remnant of the axis artery persists as inferior gluteal artery, arteria nerva ischidiasi, the proximal part of the popliteal artery which is in line with the longitudinal anastomosis formed by the perforating branches of profunda femoris artery, also the distal part of peroneal artery.